What is going on, you guys? Brandon here, aka Bowatis. It's actually really early right now. It's like 6.30 in the morning, 6.30 a.m. I'm pretty tired, in case you guys can't tell by the way I sound or the way I look. I look like a freaking zombie. If you're wondering why I'm filming this early, why I'm recording a video at 6 a.m., it's because today I woke up and I wanted to film more of a chill video, you know? Today, I wanted to just do what I would usually do on any Sunday and just bring my camera with me and just, just record, you know what I mean? I feel like recently on YouTube, a lot of my videos have been challenges or I've been doing some sort of prank and it's been fun but at the end of the day I'm a vlogger I love to vlog I feel like when I first started YouTube I used to make a lot of these videos where I just pick the camera up don't plan anything and just record everything I do throughout my day I used to do that a lot recently I haven't been doing that too much and I feel like you guys missed that content I feel like you guys missed the OG Barwada's vlogs so today we're gonna put all those challenges to the side we're gonna put all those last to leave 24 hour challenges ten thousand dollar challenges we're gonna put all those to the side and i'm gonna give you guys just what you've been missing an og rawadis vlog it's a sunday it's early in the morning it's 6 30 a.m baby and today we're not gonna plan anything out for this video i'm just gonna do what i would do on any other sunday the only difference today is i'm bringing the camera with me so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video good morning happy sunday let's go guys Okay guys, so as I'm in my closet about to pick an outfit for the day, first thing I wanna do, wait, hold up. Holy shit, why is this white shirt so small? What is this, face rug shirt? Did he leave it in my closet? Why is it so much smaller than my other shirts? What the hell? Now I can't unsee it. My eyes just focus on that shirt being smaller than everything else in my closet. But anyways. So every single Sunday when I wake up, first thing I do, drive over to the gym and go play basketball. It's my Sunday routine. I've been doing it for years and I just love playing basketball and exercising early in the day. I love waking up early, going to the gym and just getting my workout over with early so that when I'm done with my workout, it's still early in the day and I got the whole whole day ahead of me relaxed stress-free because my workout is done i'm an early bird i'm very energetic in the morning i wake up early and i like to do all my stuff in the morning get all my shit done early in the a.m now my girlfriend jasmine on the other hand she's a night owl she likes to sleep in she's very tired and very low energy in the morning and she likes to stay up late we're the complete opposite but last night before we went to bed she actually promised me that she would come to the gym with me at 6 30 in the morning <laughs> I don't know how she's gonna do it. Like I said, she likes to sleep in and wake up a little bit later, but hey, she made me a promise. It's 6.30 in the morning right now. She's still asleep. She's in bed asleep, but a promise is a promise. And she told me she would come to the gym with me, so it's time to go wake her up. Notice my energy level in the morning all the way up here, and then compare it to Jasmine's when I go wake her up. She's gonna hate her life. But she told me last night she wanted to come to the gym with me in the morning, so here we go, guys. Oh, babe, it's time for the gym. It's time for the gym. Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. What do you mean, mm-mm? Mm -mm. But last night you told me you would come with me. I'm tired. Hi, Mr. Booker. Good morning. You're awake earlier than the lazy princess Jasmine. Even the golden doodles awake earlier than my girlfriend. Baby, it's gym time. Babe, let's go. Babe, how are you already having this much energy? It's hey. like 6 a.m. Hey, it's basketball time, baby. It's gym time, let's go. No, I'm tired. Booker, what are we gonna do about her, man? What are we gonna do about her? And. Did you know that there's a fun fact that, well, sorry, it's not a fun fact. It's a proven fact mm -hmm. that um, couples that go to the gym together, they last longer together. Is that? Yeah, it is. So, you know, if I were you, honey, I would get up and let's get ready and go to the gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Booker, she's a maniac. Okay, babe, well, I'm going to be getting ready. And if you decide to come to the gym, I'll leave the bathroom door open. And Love you. Good morning! Stop! You have too much energy. Babe, you act like it's early. It's like 6 a.m. It is early. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know it's early, and I know I'm a psycho for having this much energy in the morning, but 
It's freaking basketball time. How can I not be excited? Okay, babe, I'm gonna hop in the shower, but I'll leave the door open so you could come get ready. All right, guys, so some people might think this is weird. All right, guys, so some people might think this is weird. Like, Brandon, why are you in the shower before the gym? Aren't you supposed to shower after the gym? Well, yeah, of course I shower when I come home after the gym. But if you guys know me, then you know this about me. Every time before I go to the gym, I also take a shower because I feel like the shower, it just like, it wakes me up. It, it like, it brings me to life. Like you guys saw, it's really early right now. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I'm about to go play some basketball. It gets really competitive, so I'm not trying to be sleepwalking. Look at me. I look so tired. I feel so tired. I look like a zombie. So I feel like a shower, a shower just kind of wakes me up and gets me ready to go, go play some basketball. Babe, let's go, take a play. Babe, come on, it's getting late. All my friends are on the way already. She hates me right now. I left the door open. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Pre-gym shower time. Well, well, well. Look who decided to get up and get ready for the gym. I'm not a morning person. Are you excited for the gym? <laughs> Come on, show some fake excitement. Are you excited for the gym? No. Are you tired? Yeah. Do you want to go back to sleep? Yeah, very much. But are you going to come to the gym? Yeah. Okay, Booker, leave me alone. I'll make it. Okay guys, so in case you can't tell, Mr. Booker does not want me to leave him and go to the gym. He's making it really hard for me to leave. <laughs> He's staying so close to me, but look, yeah, I gotta get my exercise in. I'm only gonna be gone for like two hours and then I'll be back with you all day, okay? Oh, guys, before I go to the gym, Booker has to go pee. Come here, let's go. So as you guys could see, I'm all changed and ready for the gym, but my last thing I have to do before leaving, we gotta take this suit to use the bathroom, go. Go, go, go. Let's go pee. Oh my gosh, it's pretty cold, bro. Early January. It is freezing outside, man. It's like 35 or 40 degrees right now, bro. It is freezing. I know, I know. I live in San Diego, so people are gonna be like, bro, you think San Diego's cold? You think it's cold in California? You should see where we live. Well, guys, I'm not saying San Diego is the coldest place in the world. I'm not saying 40 degrees is the coldest temperature in the world, but for us people who live in California, yeah, this is cold. This is cold to us, man. We've been spoiled our whole life with sunny, 75, 80 degree weather. So when we wake up at 6.30 in the morning, and it's 40 degrees outside. This is freezing to us San Diego people. On a side note, as my dog is about to go pee, can we just admire the beautiful, beautiful view from my backyard, bro? This is, this is freaking, I love waking up to this view every single day. Every day I love coming out into my backyard and just, just admiring this view, bro. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and I love it. And I just want to say one thing, me waking up to this view right here, me waking up in this beautiful home would not be possible without the support that I get from you guys. Without you guys watching my videos, none of this would be possible. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for all the support that you show me. I love you guys so much and you guys mean so much to me. You guys will always have a place in my heart. Even if I don't say it every day, even if I don't show it every day, just know everybody watching this video, just know I am forever grateful for all the support that you guys show me love you guys babe you know the hardest thing about leaving to the gym is um that it's freezing outside um that but also guys just look oh my gosh bookie no 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 i hate leaving you alone but like i said it's, it's only like two hours and i'll be back okay love you bye i'll see you soon okay bye baby Bye, dude, those puppy dog eyes are crazy. <laughs> Stop, Booker, please, you'll be fine. Stop making me feel guilty. I'm just going to the gym. Bye. <sighs> How can you, like, say no to those puppy dog eyes? Okay, guys, mission accomplished. We got the beast. 
woken up. We're on the way to the gym. We're in the car, babe. There's no turning back now. You're already, you're already here. I'm not a morning person. Guys, I just want you to notice the energy level difference from me and from Jasmine at freaking 7 a.m. Look at me. Woo! We're going to the gym, baby. I just don't talk. I'm so tired. I'm like, please give me the energy drink. <laughs> yeah, every time she comes to the gym, I do reward her with the... Uh, I go for eating candy at 7 a.m. But cavities are, they're just a myth. No, they're not. It's actually, uh, it's FDA uh, approved. The law just got passed. Cavities have been proven that they're just a myth. They're not real. No, Dentists no. just do that to like. That's not true. They just try to get more money out of you. Cavities have never really been a thing. It just got proven recently. So guys, if you're watching this video, eat as much candy as you want. And the, um, the sad thing is he really does believe that that's true. Can I just say, babe, I've never met someone, I've never seen someone that looks so good right when they wake up. You. No, it is not me. I'm talking about you. you. Bro, you guys know when people wake up in the morning, they look like freaking zombies. You guys saw me when I woke up today, my face was all puffy. But Jasmine, when Jasmine wakes up, I always tell you this. You look so good when you don't try. Like plain black hoodie, some leggings on, and just natural makeup. Yeah, just. It looks so bad in the morning. No, it looks good. Natural hair, natural face, natural beauty. You look so good right when you wake up. Thank you, babe. I think you do too. Now it's time to go to the gym, play some basketball. Let's go, guys. All right, guys. Just arrived at the gym. Babe, we arrived to our destination. It's so cold outside. Hey, this is perfect weather to be at the gym right now, man. Perfect weather to be in bed sleeping right now. And it's, <laughs> it rained. The floor is wet. I'm free. I'm cold. I want to go to bed. So you're saying there's perfect weather to just sleep in and, and cuddle and be in bed? Yeah. <laughs> Gym is for the nighttime. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm trying to see something. I want to see if you guys watching are more of a Brandon, aka Berwadis, or if you're more of a Jasmine. So drop a like on this video right now if you're more like Jasmine and you like to sleep in on the weekend, stay in bed a little bit longer, stay warm under the covers and cuddle. <laughs> So drop a like if you're a Jasmine, but comment down below if you're a Brandon and you like to wake up early on your weekends, get out of bed, be productive, do something to start your day early. Just let me know. Let me know. Okay, babe, you're going upstairs. Love you. Love you. This is where we separate, guys. She goes to the treadmill and the Stairmaster, and I go in the basketball courts. Bye, babe. Bye. Have a good workout. Okay, I can't record in the women's locker room. I'm about to get whatever arrested band. Damn. So I guess I'm not the only one that wakes up hella early to hoop. We got bodies in here today. Romel, Jay, you guys ready? I'm ready. Always. I'm ready. Hey, where's Ali at? Ali, you won't <laughs> find him here. Hey, I haven't seen you guys on my channel in a long time. It's been a minute. No, it's been a minute for sure. But definitely gotta make a reunion happen very soon. Oh, no. Hey, hey can we? You guys want you to take some L's? This is the number one trash talker here. Man, the number one defensive specialist here too. Who, who are you stopping today? Everybody. Man, who, who, who you want me on? Who you want I, me I on? want you on Romel. Lockdown defense. Man, he won't get a bucket. I promise. He won't get a bucket. Document that. Document that. Okay. Romel, no buckets for you. What are you talking? I'm still gonna get six to eight points on him. Woo! Hey, just document it afterwards. That's all. Hey, I'm gonna record your guys' matchup. Yeah, yeah. I got I you. Promise. I promise you won't get a bucket. I'm a bucket. I'm a bucket. <laughs> he just walked in. He's already trash talking. He just got here. Leave him alone. Bro. There's a lot of people here today. We got a lot of bodies here today. Look at this. Now this is a basketball Sunday. This is a basketball Sunday. Hey, Chris, who's winning the championship this year? Buck. Buck? The Suns are taking them. I love coming to the gym because not only do I get to play basketball with my homies, but it's like a hangout sesh. You're playing basketball, you're exercising, but you're also having a good time. All the trash talking, all the competitiveness, you get to see your friends, you get to see your boys. So for us boys, this basketball session is more than just exercise, bro. It's like a workout exercise, but it's also like a hangout sesh with your homies. All my people out there watching this video that hoop, you understand what I'm saying. And if you guys know me, then you know my favorite basketball shoes of all time. Kobe's Grinches. I wear these to play every single time. These are my go-to hoop shoes. 
Look, it's Jasmine. There's no way she doesn't see me. The gym is so empty, there's no way she doesn't feel some random dude recording her right now. Babe. Oh my God, I'm embarrassing myself. Babe. Okay, she doesn't hear me. Honestly, she's probably still asleep right now. She's probably walking on that treadmill like half asleep. Bro, if, if people here see me and they think I'm just recording a random girl on the treadmill, someone's gonna call the cops. Can she just look at me and wave so that people know it's my girlfriend and I'm not a creep? Okay, yeah. People definitely think I was standing here in the middle of the gym recording some random girl and, and now I'm, I look like a weirdo now. All right, Romel, no L's. It's a long wait if we lose. I knew it was serious when you texted me last night. I told you. So I'm here for you. We're gonna get this stuff, I promise and you. And he's been talking a lot of shit. He says he's gonna lock your ass up. Drop dropping at least eight. I wanna see something from you today, okay? At least eight, at least eight. Hey, babe, you got your matchup right here, Romel. Hey, that was easy. Who do I stop? Who do I stop? You Romel. I know what you're trying to do. You don't want me on you. I would love if you guard no, me. No, 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 you won't. Really? Put the camera down. Let's get to it. I love the trash talk. It always comes from the people who average like one point a game. That's a lie. You know that's a lie. I love it. I love one it. One point a game? Maybe one. No, well, you know you a fucking lie. On your birthday. On your birthday is one point a game. <laughs> no, that's a lie. All right, let's go. The trash talking is over. Now it just comes down to the game. So the reason the other team was so upset was because they were saying, your layup doesn't count. That point doesn't count because we weren't ready. But I'm like, bro, your own teammate checked the ball up. You guys checked the ball up. You were ready. <laughs> So they were trying to take away my layup. They were trying to take away my point, saying they weren't ready. I was pretty much telling them, how were you guys not ready? Your own teammate checked the ball up. I didn't check the ball up. Your own team checked the ball up. That means you guys were ready to play. Not to mention, the guy that was guarding me, he was still playing defense on me. He damn near almost blocked my shot. So how are you gonna say that point doesn't count? You guys checked the ball up, and my defender was still playing defense on me. I didn't have a free wide open layup. My guy was still playing defense. <laughs>
Well, we lost. Let's check up on the wifey. You moved down to the stairs. Yeah. You know I was calling your name for so long when you were up on the treadmill and you weren't looking? Really? Yeah, people probably thought I was a weirdo creep recording some random girl upstairs. Oh babe, by the way, we lost. Good job. Hey. Are you still gonna play more? Yeah, I'm gonna play one more and then we'll go. Okay, love you. Love you too. You look sweaty, I like it, it's hot. Are you? Let me tell you this. The reason I'm not sweating is because I did more arguing than playing that game. Were you I saw you. <laughs> That's why I saw you arguing. You saw me arguing? That game, I scored two points and 293 arguments. So that's why I'm not sweating. I was doing a lot of talking and not enough shooting. So yeah, I'm gonna play one more, babe. I, us, Hooper, us Hoopers know we can't leave the gym on an L. I gotta get a win and then we'll go, babe. Okay. Taking a quick break from today's video to share a word from our sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is the easiest place to play fantasy sports, and let me tell you guys about their pick'em game. This makes watching sports so much more exciting. Check this out. All you do is scroll through your favorite players, pick if you think they're gonna go higher or lower on their stat totals for that game, and if you make your picks correctly, you win big money, baby. How simple and fun is that? Now let me tell you guys about this crazy special that Underdog is having that's gonna blow your mind. If Baker Mayfield throws for just one yard in tomorrow's Eagles Bucks game, you guys all win, baby. How crazy is that? One freaking yard from Baker Mayfield, and you guys are all winners, bro. And you guys wonder why I love Underdog Fantasy? It's because you can only find specials like this at Underdog, man. Underdog is available in 40 different states plus all of Canada. Look at the map on the screen to see if you're eligible. Click the link in my description to sign up for Underdog or to make things even easier, scan the QR code right now that you see on your screen. It will take you directly to the Underdog app and on on top of everything, if you use my promo code BROWADIS, Underdog will deposit match your first $100. What are you guys waiting for? Shout out to Underdog Fantasy. But babe, I'm proud of you for waking up and coming to the gym. Thank Good job. You. It's always like okay once you get here. It's the waking up that's hard? Waking up, I would rather sleep in. I thought you were gonna say you'd rather die. I would. <laughs> no, but good job. I'm proud of you. You came here, you're sweating, you're getting a good workout in, and I'm gonna go play one more, get a win, and then we'll go. Hey Z, we took the L in that game, but you blasted that dude. <laughs> That's how we do, bro. Bro, he tried yeah. to take away my layup, and then we started arguing, and then Z always has my back. If you're a skinny boy like me, get yourself friends that look like this. They'll always have your back. So I started arguing with Chavez, and then Z came in and had my back and just bumped him. I was like, holy shit. So, bro. Got you, bro. Exactly, bro. I, I didn't even see you. So why would you have to come? All you gotta do is just hit me. I was like, finish it. Hey, you so good? Waiting. You need a back massage? I got you. Turn around. You need a back massage? I got you. Turn around. You need a little back massage, man. I got you. Sick of winning today. Oh, you sick? You sick of winning? You can't sit in my chair if you get hit like that, bro. And here's, you know what? Here's the crazy part. What happened to your best players? Great. Anybody I guard? Gone. Amon. Amon. Okay. Amon. Amon. Amon disappeared. Y'all noticed? Amon used his score five or six. Somebody's called the bullshit. Hey. Okay. Amon used his score five or six. Gone. Gone. Okay. We'll get you. Gone. Hey, Go hey, we'll, we'll get you next game. We'll get you next game. I hope you win so we can play you again. So there's a whole game going on. Vez, what'd you say? Look, 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 look. Hey, what'd you, what'd you say? <laughs> Come on. Vez, you're not even paying attention to the game. You're over here talking trash. The game's going on over there. I hope his team wins. I hope Vez's team wins so we can play them again. I don't want to play the other team. We lost to Vez first game, so we're playing next. I hope they win so we can get that rematch. I, I want to play his team again. I can't leave the gym after losing to him. I can't. I can't. All right, if they score here, they win, and we can play them again. Oh, yeah, Vez. Game. <laughs> All right, we get you guys again now. Still winning again. We get you Old guys. Dog still winning again. Hey, we get you Old guys. Dog still, hey, hey, hey your win streak is over next. We got you guys next. I'm telling you. Listen, all I'm saying, your win streak is ending right now. You ready? Hey, hey I don't. Hey, I'm sick of holding these young ass niggas up, man. Hey, watch. Okay, let's just get a win. Let's get a win. Hey, maybe screen too. <laughs> no, no, no more screens. No more screens. I can't go home on an L. This is the last game of the day. We gotta win. We gotta win. We gotta win, bro. I can't go home on no L. This is the last game of the day. We gotta get a win. Bro.
Yeah, that's how we get them all, baby. I told you we were going to get a f***ing win. Bye-bye, Chavez. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye, bye Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Hey, Hey, now Vez don't want to come to the camera. When he wins, he has a lot to talk about. When he hey. loses, he doesn't come. Now Vez won't come to the camera and talk, huh? I got to get him. Hey, Vez. No talking after you lose. You went straight to the exit, not to the camera. Bro, we started gym at 8.15. It's 10.15. <laughs> what are hey, you trying to say? 46. Now the, age, now the age is a factor? It wasn't a factor hey, when you were whooping up first started game? We started at 8.15. We started at 8.15. Bro, look at the clock. Point to the clock. Zoom in on that bitch. We can do one it's on one, two, thirty. We can do one on one, two, thirty. We can do one on one, two, thirty. You light. This is hey, what light. I just that want my props. He light. Hey, light work. Hey, Ben. I just want my props. Hey, Who hit the game winner? Who hit the game winner? Who got you off the court? Who got your team off the court? You did a lot of bullshit, though. Oh, you did a lot of bullshit today. How? Oh my God. It feels good getting the win. But it feels even better that it came from my hands. That I was the one that got him off the court. It feels even better, baby. You know what I love about the gym? We're all like a family here. We could we could trash talk each other. We could talk shit to each other. We could get in each other's faces. We could argue with each other. Shit, we could get shoved to the ground and fall on our ass. But by the time the basketball game is over, we're laughing with each other. We're shaking hands with each other. We're hugging each other. We don't hate each other over here. It's just competitive basketball. We're just men. We don't take nothing personal over here. We're grown ass men. We don't get our feelings hurt over some trash talk or some basketball arguments. We're grown men we argue we fight we trash talk but it's all love that's what i love about this gym by the time the game is over we're laughing with each other we're hugging each other we all have a big ass group chat that we're in as soon as we leave the gym we're still talking trash in that group chat we're like a big ass family over here bro so yeah we argue we trash talk we get in each other's faces shit sometimes we might even hit each other but at the end of the day it's all love bro we all love each other here we're like a big family Hey, Ben, I like you. I like you. Last two weeks, I'm like nine and two. Oh, no. man, swag. You know what? You make yeah. this shit competitive. I, I like that. Shit. Hold on. Get this bum right here. <laughs> fucking bum. Hey, oh, he, he's going to be he's watching on the side right now. Fucking bum, bro. Fuck out of here. Who's playing on the court right now? Last two weeks, I'm nine and two. The last two weeks? It's like an ESPN statistic. <laughs> nine and two in the last two weeks. That's an ESPN statistic yeah, right man, there. Nine and two, man. I like you. You, you know who Flight is? <laughs> what? Flight? Oh, you're Spike? Yeah, he's that? Spike's uncle. <laughs> who the fuck is that? <laughs> Spike reacts. Ooh. He's a hooper. I don't know who the fuck that is. Nah, I like it. You turn this shit up. You turn this gym up. I like that. I like that. Hell yeah. All right, guys, so I'm leaving the gym right now. We lost the first game, but I'm just happy we won that next game. Hey, I promised you guys I wasn't going to leave with an L, and I hit the game winner. It was beautiful. It was amazing. Babe. You always hit the game winners. Hey, you know. You know. How was your workout? It was good. You did what, treadmill and stairs? I always do the treadmill. I start, I'll do like three mile warm up and then I do the stairs for like 40 minutes. Today I did it for 70 because he was playing extra. He's always like, one more game, one more game, one more game, one more game. Like, oh. Hey, all you hoopers know, when you go to the gym with your girl, she's always like, okay, babe, I'm done with my workout. Let's go home. And then you're like, babe, just one more game. All my boys are playing just one more, one more. Yeah. But anyways, babe, you look you look hot right now. I love you sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. I love you sweaty, hair messed up, messed makeup up. falling off. I love you like that. That's what Why? I think. I think you look the best like this. <laughs> How cringe was that? Hey guys, I know when I first started my YouTube channel, I used to vlog a lot at the gym. I used to post a lot of gym content and you guys loved it. You guys loved when I would take my camera to the gym, vlog, record with me and all my homies and all those random faces at the gym. It's just pure comedy. It's pure entertainment, honestly. It's really good content because you get basketball, but then it's not only like I'm just recording the games. I'm also recording all the commentary, all the trash talking, all the all the in-between bullshit that happens at the gym. And I feel like I feel like everyone at the gym over there, it's like a family. We're just pure entertainment on camera. So all of us homies at the gym together, it's just pure comedy. It's pure entertainment. And I used to record there all the time. If you guys are OG subscribers, you guys remember my old vlogs. I used to vlog at the gym every single day. So I'm glad I got to throw it back today. Make you guys feel like you were watching an old school Brawadis video. And I feel like you guys used to love the gym content when I would do it a couple years ago. I think I'm gonna start recording more and more at the gym because that was pure entertainment. So guys, let me know if you want me to start recording more at the gym. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed the gym content. Cause I feel like when I bring my camera and record at the gym i'm not like these other youtubers who only record the basketball games i was getting you guys all the behind the scenes of the trash talking before the games after the games i got you all the behind the scenes the inside scoop of what us homies us basketball friends talk about when we're not on the court so i hope you guys enjoyed it
I just want to say for the girls that watch the videos, because I know it's not all guys, like I would just skip through the basketball parts, but since you're trash talking, I'm going to stay and watch that. Oh, the girls like you're the drama? Good, you're good at trash talking, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so the boys watch for the basketball content, but the girls stay for the drama and the yeah, trash talking? Yeah, yeah. Alright, babe. So we were halfway on the way home and uh, I was getting ready to watch the Suns game. They play in a little bit, but what did you want? I wanted acai bowls. You want an acai bowl? Yeah. Again, to prove how opposite me and Jasmine are, on the way back from the gym, I wanted like fried chicken. <laughs> I'm hungry. I wanted like- He wants like canes or Jollibee's at like 11 a.m. I'm like, oh. I wanted no. Raising Cane's. I wanted fried chicken at like 11 a.m. She's like, babe, let's be healthy. But babe, I'm like 36 years old. So now you're 36? Okay, how old am I for real? You're only 28. Okay, I'm 28 years old. You think a 28 year old man is gonna get full off one acai bowl? I need some fried chicken or something, bro. He eats like a 500 pound man, I'm just saying. Okay guys, the acai bowls have been ordered. But babe, we really need to get some real food like after we leave this place. Acai bowls we like an appetite. real food, but not fried chicken. It's breakfast time. So what's so bad about fried chicken for breakfast? I don't know, I never think of that as like a breakfast food. I said I could make him pancakes. He said, babe, that's a dessert. Acai bowl is like an appetizer. You know what I mean? I think it's healthy. And we just left the gym. We just worked out. And you want to go and eat something greasy and makes you tired and full? <sighs> I just want my fried chicken. That's it, babe. Okay, guys. So we got our acai bowls. We got blueberry, strawberry, banana, peanut butter, coconut shavings, some granola in there. And there's the acai my favorite thing to eat. Does it pass time. the eye test? The what? Like, <laughs> does it look good? Yeah, it's so good. I love this place. Do a taste review for us, babe. Okay. I just love acai bowls. Everything is like perfect here. Hits every time. Hey, I wanted my fried chicken, but you know what they say, happy wife. Happy life. Happy wife, happy life. So we went with the acai bowls. All you boyfriends out there, just do what your girlfriend wants all the time and it'll make them shut up. You know what I mean? Hey! <laughs> Sorry guys, I was being too honest there. My favorite part about coming back home from the gym is the reaction of this guy. Oh, he already has his toy. Bro, look at Bro. How cute is it that he already has his toy ready to play right when I come home? Bro, oh, he's so funny. Look at this. Booker, I just got home two seconds ago and you already want to play? You already have your toy? Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Was he home alone? Was he home alone? Oh. And he was so stressed out by himself. He was so stressed out. He didn't have his dad or his mom. And now we're back home? Whoa, what happened when you were alone? What happened? Baby's crying, come with him. Oh, was it that bad when you were alone? Was it that bad? What happened? Did the ghost come? Did the monsters come get you? Why are you crying? <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 okay. We won't leave you anymore today. We won't leave Booker. Here, here, how about this, Booker? We're not gonna leave you anymore today. We're gonna stay with Mr. Booker all day. We're gonna, we're gonna play with your toy. And then later, we're gonna feed you food. And then we're gonna take you for a walk. Does that make up for leaving you alone for these long two hours that you were home alone? Okay, okay, Bookie. Yo guys, before I end this video, I wanna pull a little prank on my brother FaZe Rug because long story short, the Phoenix Suns have a basketball game tonight and they're playing the Lakers. My brother got some tickets to the game. So he came to me, obviously I'm the biggest Phoenix Suns fan in the world. And he's like, yo Brandon, I got tickets to the Suns game. Let's go together, come with me. Me, unfortunately today I was really busy. I had some stuff to take care of, brand deals and all that stuff. So as much as I wanted to go to the Phoenix Suns game, I couldn't make it. So I passed over the opportunity to my dad, Papa Rug. I don't mind doing that. I love my dad and I feel like he doesn't get to experience as many cool things as me and my brother do so i never mind passing an opportunity like this to my dad so right now my brother and my dad are at the sun's game together but bro phase rogue he was begging me like he wanted me to go so bad when he came to me and he had the phoenix suns tickets he was like yo bro i got the best surprise we're going to the sun's game brandon he was so excited to surprise me with these tickets but like i said i just had a lot of stuff to do today and unfortunately i couldn't make it but my brother did try to get me to go by the way brian i love you for that thank you for always thinking about me in these situations 
predictions. You know I'm a huge Suns fan, so I love you, bro. But the prank we're gonna pull on my brother, I'm gonna FaceTime my brother. He's at the game right now with my dad, and then I'm just gonna FaceTime him and give him a hard time. I'm gonna be like, yo, bro, you're at the game without me? Why didn't you tell me you were gonna go to the game? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna give him a hard time because, well, I'm his brother, and that's what brothers do. We bother each other, so. Bro. Really? I'm the biggest Suns fan in the world and you're not gonna invite me to the game? Pop a rug! Hey, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> hey, Brian, bro. Hey, the Suns bench is right here. Wait, you're that close to the court? Show me the view again. Look. Hey, bro. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, all they need to do is sub me in. I'm hitting three threes at least. Brian, Brian, if the Suns sub you into the game, I guarantee you we're going to lose by 30 points. <laughs> but, bro, look how clean the court looks. It's so sick. I can't believe you're that close. He's going to bro. Bro, I'm not going to lie. You're messed up for not inviting me. I'm the biggest Suns fan. Bro, you, I called you this morning. You said you didn't want to come. Nah, bro, that's just up that you didn't invite your own brother to go to the game i'm just joking bro i'm vlogging and i told them you literally tried to surprise me with tickets and i just couldn't make it you're missing out though bro look dude that's so sick hey bro i'm not gonna lie if i knew those were your seats i would have probably ended up coming that would have been your seat right there damn hey wait brian you're rooting for the suns tonight right bro, bro what the bro papa rug knows what's up Go Suns! No. Alright, Brian. Hey, I love you guys. Have a good time and go Suns. Alright, I love you too, bro. Go Lakers. No. Bye. Hey, my dad knows what's up. Rooting for the Suns? I always knew I was my dad's favorite son. Hey, just because I'm not at the game, though, doesn't mean I'm not watching from home. Come on, book. Oh, yeah, book for three. Splash. Let's go, book. Yes, sir. Let's send the Lakers home sad today. Wait, can you see my brother? Wait, let me try to find my brother. Oh my God, wait, where is my brother? <gasps> my brother and my dad, my brother and my dad. Wait, oh my God. Uh, my brother and dad are on TV. I swear to God, I swear on my life that was them. Look at this, Fuck, I should have went to the game if I knew I was gonna be on TV. Look, please just pay attention, please just pay attention. There's my brother and there's my dad. And Kaylin, Kaylin too. Look, Rug, Papa Rug, and Kaylin. Look at that. My dad's recording. Oh my gosh, I can't believe my family's on TV right now. That's crazy. Who is Brian pointing at? So the Suns and Lakers game is coming to an end. And Brian, I didn't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Go Suns, baby. The Suns whooped on the Lakers. Lakers suck.